Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a problem that looks super simple at first, but trust me, most people actually get it wrong. Can you guess why? Let's take a look. The expression is 3 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3, and then the whole thing squared. Now, here's the common mistake. People think, okay, 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Makes sense, right? Then they take the next 3 divided by 3 and say, oh, that's 1, 2. And then 1 divided by 1 equals 1. Finally, they square it and they say, yes, the answer is 1. Seems easy, right? But that's not correct. Why? Because with multiple divisions, we always have to follow the order of operations. And that means we go from left to right. So let's slow it down. 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now the question becomes, 1 divided by 3 divided by 3, whole thing squared. Next, we take 1 divided by 3. That gives 1 third. Now the question looks like this, 1 third divided by 3, whole thing squared. Now, here's the tricky part. We're dividing a fraction by a normal number. And this is where the KCF rule comes in. Keep, change, flip. Let me explain it clearly. We keep the fraction as it is, so we keep one third. We change the division sign into multiplication. And we flip the number we're dividing by. The three becomes one third. So one third divided by three becomes one third times one third. And that equals one ninth. Now the question becomes one ninth squared. Finally, we square one ninth. That's one ninth times one ninth, which equals one over 81. And that, my friends, is the correct answer. See how easy it is to make that first mistake if you rush. Just working carefully left to right, rewriting the question as it changes, and using KCF only when it's needed, that's what makes it all crystal clear. All right, here's a challenge for you. Try this one in the comments. Five divided by five divided by five divided by five, and then squared. Take it slow. Write how the question changes after each operation, and tell me your answer. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more fun math lessons. Hit that bell so you don't miss any new problems we solve together. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.